Hi everyone! I know it's been a while. I took like a week off from YouTube and yes, now I'm back and still in a summer mood. As you saw the title of the video, today we will talk about smelling like a snack under the heat. This for me are my top summer gourmands. This topic has been requested as well from one of you guys. So if you're watching, hi there. And um, yes, without further ado, let's get this video started. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for all the love and support. Gourmands in the summer, I must say, is very tricky as you want to smell delectable and sweet, however, not cloying and not too much like food compared to when it's colder outside. Um, I am not the biggest fan of gourmand fragrances so i must say that i'm very picky with my choices when it comes to gourmand and i think that these fragrances that i'm gonna mention today are just perfect they are tried and tested to be smelling good under the heat so i have divided this video into three categories and i'm gonna start off with Fragrances to use to go to the beach. And of course, it's summertime and everybody goes to the beach unless you are not the type of person. <laughs> anyway, um, my first recommendation is something that I use every beach day, okay? And I'm talking about Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian crush. Uh, yeah, and I think it's better for me just to put it like this because yeah i know it looks disgusting because it is used and abused by me um yeah so as mentioned this is my official beach day scent mm, this is like a salted caramel pistachio dessert this gives me the perfect amount of sweetness and the saltiness that i need if you own or if you're familiar with Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, basically this is the fragrance mist uh, version of that. And I'm not sure if this is the same as the Cherry Rosa 62 as I couldn't find this anymore um, in Sephora or anywhere else. Yeah, does anybody know? Um, yeah, but anyway, this is just a fragrance mist, but it lasts for a decent time. Let's say around um, three to five hours on my skin. And I love dousing myself with this scent. And I don't mind to respray as well because this is just so good for respraying. Um, I definitely get the pistachio, the almond, um, the saltiness, the caramel vibes in this uh, fragrance. Mm very light and airy it gives you that perfect sweet and salty beach vibes i love this fragrance um i will always have this in my collection this is perfect um to use if you are going to a lake a river beach you know just something that is a casual this one actually stays in my beach bag um, yeah, so that's my first recommendation. So the next fragrance is something that I will use if I will go to somewhere that is a little bit more uh, of an upscale beach vibe, you know. And I'm talking about um, Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana. This has the tropical flowers like jasmine very heavy in tiare flower ylang ylang as well however it's perfectly blended with coconut 
and caramel. Oh, I love this one. Mm. I am not a fan as well of floral notes, but this one has my full heart. Mm. The dry down for me is very gourmand, or shall I say like tropical gourmand. You will definitely smell delicious, delectable when you use this fragrance as the caramel is very prominent. I think it really balances out the, the floral notes in this fragrance, so it's not that indolic. Um, I know there's a lot of people who said that they find this too heavy on florals, but not on me. I love this one. It smells very sophisticated and also this one will last you for a very long time, easily eight plus hours and it stays forever on clothes. I highly recommend you trying this one out if you want to smell like a snack and if you are going on uh, an upscale tropical holiday. Um, yes, Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana. Next category is the everyday whereabout. You know, like something you will use if you will discover a city. You know, like you're going on holidays and you just want to walk around um, the city center. Or like, for example, you live somewhere that is just hot and you just want to smell like a walking snack. <laughs> Yes, so these fragrances that I'm going to mention will be perfect for that. First is um, La Danza del Libelu by Nobile 1940. Sorry if I murdered that name so better. Just to check out the name on the screen, um, I still don't have a full bottle of this because I am enjoying the sample size as well as a decant of this fragrance. Um, what is this? Mm. Oh, so good. This is a fresh, crispy, red apple drizzled with caramel and cinnamon with like, um, with a squeeze of lemon. Mm. A lot of people say that this is like an apple pie, but for me, um, since I bake and I I bake a lot of apple pie, this is just the better of the apple pie. You know, the inside of that pie, meaning the raw apple, cinnamon, lemony um, part of the pie without the crust. This is how I'm going to describe this fragrance. It is refreshing, however, sweet enough you know, to be delectable. This is how I imagine Barbie will smell like if she goes on a picnic day. <laughs> I don't know why, I just have that vision in my mind. Um, this is so good and this one lasts as well. Um, easily eight plus hours on the skin and on clothes, this smells addicting and very very gourmand and just so good um a lot of people use this during the colder seasons but for me i actually enjoy this more when it's hot outside um yes definitely worth checking out if you want to smell like a fresh crisp caramelized apple La Danza del Libelu by Nobile 1942. Another fragrance great for daily whereabouts during this hot season is Orange and Neroli by Emir. Um, I know I talk a lot about uh, um, Vetiver Delight from the same brand, but this is also very very good especially if you want to smell like cotton candy mm, this is so good this has of course orange neroli 
musk and cotton candy notes that are very um, dominant in this fragrance. That's why for me, I consider this gourmand. Mm. Um, this smells like an orange flavored cotton candy. Do I need more explanation for that? This is also a dupe of Pyredo Sundays. So if you're familiar with that, you know the kind of scent that I'm talking about. This is just citrusy and sweet. So for me, I find this perfect as well for summer. I don't find it um, smelling very juvenile because of the cotton candy um, note. It's just, it's just something easy to wear. And um, I don't know, it also gives me that um, fresh feeling as well. So um, yes, I highly recommend you this one out. The longevity and projection is very good too. Let's say this can last you for around six to eight hours. But you know, sometimes when you're under the heat, the fragrance um, disappears quickly. Um, yes, yeah, so you might need to overspray, but still it has a very good longevity and projection as well. Highly recommend you checking this one out because this as well is not very expensive. You know, it's a Middle Eastern fragrance. Orange and Neroli by Emir. The last fragrance that I'm going to talk about for a uh, good everyday summer whereabouts is Lemon Tart by Theodoros Carutinis. Um, if you're watching my channel, you know how much I love this fragrance. I raved about this many times in my channel because it is so, so good. It smells like a lemon tart. And not just that, it smells like a bakery specializing in lemon tart, okay? So imagine a whipped cream, butter, sugar, and vanilla essence topped with lemon zest. And there you go. This is the scent that you're gonna get. Um, I love this fragrance. For me, it is perfect to use in the summertime because of the citrusy aspect of it as well. It's not too much. It is very addicting. It is very buttery and creamy in the opening. However, the dry down is more like vanillic. So it is just so good, guys. This lasts decent, around four to six hours. And like on clothes, it stays for a very long time as well. I highly recommend you trying this one out if you are into Grimaud's because I'm telling you, you will love this one. Um, and this is very affordable as well. Um, yes, so Lemon Tart by Teodoros Calutinis. So the last category is special occasions. Summertime probably is the season when there's a lot of events going on. If you want to smell still like a snack, but sophisticated at the same time, I recommend you um, Melody the Orientica by Orientica. This smells, oh my God, like so creamy and green and marshmallowy at the same time. Mm, it has pedigree and a rolly that is causing the greenness of this fragrance with red fruits, bergamot, orange blossom. It has cardamom, however, it's not, it's not that loud. You won't even notice that the cardamom is there. And it has cinnamon as well and jasmine that is just so perfectly blended. This is so creamy and marshmallowy. I love it. It is more gourmand to my nose um, than floral or green. And I don't know, this one smells sophisticated as well. So if you're the type who loves gourmand but don't want to spend a lot, I highly recommend you trying out Melody de Orientica as this one is not very expensive and it's a Middle Eastern brand too. 
so so good very creamy and marshmallowy um melody the orientica so that is the video for today guys i hope that you enjoyed it um i want to know what are the summer gourmands that you are currently using or fragrances that you would recommend that will perfectly fit this category please write me down in the comments below thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and see you on my next one bye